Looking sexy now. What was that bringing sexy back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the channel for the trail next day. We're doing another tire talk Tuesday. Tire of the day, the old Max Carnivore here. Now, this is probably one of the most popular tires out there. It comes stock on a couple of machines like the Castle KRX it comes stock with, I think the 31 inch. And I think the new Razor Pros, they also come with the uh, Maxxis Carnivore tire. I think it might be a 30 though, I don't think it's 31 inch. But anyways, this tire, when it hit the market, people loved them. I mean, it's got a big aggressive treads on them. Uh, it's got a cool looking sidewall. You got a little bit of a rim protector, but not very much. Actually, I wouldn't really call that a rim protector. It's very thin compared to a lot of other tires we looked at, like the System 3s and like the M1 Evil tires. Uh, the tread in the middle here, you know, you got pretty good space in between there, and uh, the tread depth is supposed to be 0 0.71 inches. Another thing about this tire that people love about it is it is so light. I mean, in a 32 inch tire, it is like 37.7 uh, pound, or yeah, 37.7 point, 37.7 pounds. Whew, getting tongue twisted, boys. <laughs> a lot of numbers going out there. And uh, it's also a relatively cheap tire right now. I looked up on Amazon, it was like $764 for a set of 32 10 14s. Of course, that price can always change depending on when you buy them and stuff like that. But let's get down to what this tire is all about. We're gonna talk about five different things with this tire. Tyler's been running these things for a while now. He's gonna give us his opinion of them. How many miles you got on these things? I've uh, probably got 500 miles, give or take, close to it. Uh, I got them right before we made our Ramstone trip earlier this past summer. Uh, Great trip. It was a good trip. Uh, <laughs> all right let's get into it number one ride quality and when i say ride quality i'm talking about how do these uh things absorb like the rock chatter and stuff like that on the trails do they ride smooth or are they uh more of like a hard tire you know what i mean how you think they do a rock quality? just ride quality it's a pretty smooth tire i mean you don't feel a whole lot of it uh other than that i mean it's a pretty good tire all right, number two, let's see how these things do on the rocks, rock crawling. particularly shine on the rocks as much as what you would see with the Maxxis Rockzilla or some other tires out there that are competitors with this tire. Uh, all right, let's go to number three. Number three, the mud. How do these things do when you're out in the mud? So it's got a tie. Getting her done, buddy! They do excellent. I haven't been stuck yet, knock on wood. <laughs> we can find a piece here somewhere, but uh, they clean well. Uh, they go everywhere. I mean, mud, I mean, it hasn't stopped me yet. All right, let's move on to number four. I want to talk about how they handle. When you get out there and you really get aggressive with these tires, you're trying to rip donuts and you're trying to power slide and stuff like that. Do they power slide or do they want to catch? They try to catch. Uh, roll over sidewall rolls over onto you a little bit but you just got to get in that throttle a little harder <laughs> all right let's take a look at it real quick so if you actually look at this tire come down part of the reason that these tires catch if you look at how square they are when they start moving sideways where it's so square and not very round this tire has a tendency to catch where a lot of other tires will actually you know give you a better power slide give you more predictable handling characteristics while you're out there and i would say that's probably a big drawback with these tires that i've noticed on them all right let's get into the last part of this uh price and availability uh i just looked up on amazon like i talked about 764 dollars they seemed like they were uh, pretty available out there and stuff like that 
And uh, now they weren't available in 3210 15 when I was looking. So you may have some issues if you're looking for a specific rim size and stuff like that. How did you come across yours? Uh, I ordered several different sets. I actually had a set of 32s ordered. Uh, they weren't going to make it in in time. They were actually back ordered at the time. But everywhere I looked actually had the 30 inch tire. That's, that's how I ended up with that. I had to get them before we went. Ooh. Yeah, so you guys may have a hard time finding these tires. So you might want to take that into consideration if you're wanting tires by like the next weekend or something like that, you know, be aware of something like that. All right, now as far as these tires, are you going to buy them again in a 32 or are you going to change your way to something different? I'm going to change my ways. Uh, this one, it wears rather quickly. Uh, I, don't, I don't much like that. I'd like to get a little more wear out of a tire. Uh, I'm going to try something else next time, see what happens. All right. I think that's all we're going to talk about today, unless you got anything else you want to mention. That's covers it all. Oh, there's one more thing about these tires. Now, if you talk to one of our group, you know, one guy in our group, Josh Bush, and uh, it, he'll tell you that these are the best tires out there. But I will argue that every day because the way that these tires get away with being so light is their sidewall is thin. So if you're looking for a really durable tire, this might not be the tire for you because that sidewall is not as thick as some of the competitors out there. And uh, you know, it's something you need to take into consideration. I almost forgot about that, but yeah, Josh Bush claims they're the best tire in the market or some nonsense like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, with that thin sidewall, another thing you'll see is they are gonna pop off the rim a little easier. You know, if you're running big locks, it might not be an issue but sidewall punctures or pinch flats, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're going to be more prone to it. All right. And uh, another thing, if you guys like these kinds of videos, be sure to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below if there's a particular set of tires that you want in particular. Now, we may not be able to get everything because we're on a limited budget, you know what I mean? But as we get bigger and you guys are requesting certain you know, tires and stuff like that, we'll try to review them. But uh, no promises, I'll tell you that. But uh, you guys stay awesome and uh, keep watching the videos and I'll see y'all on the trails. I'll clean up you do, mm -hmm. there. My face black. No, you're going to be in the shadow a little bit anyways because this light ain't working. You get a light over here shining on us maybe? Yeah. Well, you can see pretty good. It's just this light. Is that light broken? Both are out. Gosh, damn. <laughs> Can't make that. Yeah. <laughs> it should be shining this way beside of us. Oh, that's too Can't bright. That. <laughs> too bright. It's going to be back here somewhere probably on top of that shelf. Maybe glare it off the ceiling. Point it at the ceiling. It's relatively bright. Right there is good. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're back your hand clean. They are. I done adjusted that one. Oh. That one? Yeah. Did you wear it? I ain't got no glass. It's hard to know anyway. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Pipe your old finger. I built a fence today. It ripped every bit of damn skin off the top of that sucker. Looking sexy now. <laughs> that bringing sexy back. <laughs>